Okay, guys. Chilala gonna show us some of his trapping potentially. So currently they're just exchanging jabs, but he's trying to bridge. Ooh, okay. He's trying to bridge and stick. Both the guy in red and the ref, the guy in black, they're boxers. So the guy in red thinking of throwing some crosses. Oh, whoa. Whoa, we're going to need a replay of that. Here we go. Oh, right there. That might have actually hurt more if there weren't gloves. So obviously, guys, this is sparring, okay? They're not trying to hurt each other. They're just trying to exchange and learn. Ooh, Chilala raised his leg to box. Oh, that was slick, man. That was the definition of a different type of punch, you notice? That's like the... the type of straight punch that chain um that Wing Chun people always claim they're really good at. Chila actually pulled one off. Look at that. Look at the high guard by the boxer. Boxer realizes, okay, I might not be able to use my head movement. See his other hand is a little bit closer to his temple. Then you see that? Now he's able to kind of see that, see that? Ah, uh, he figured Chilala out, but man, that was impressive beyond the breath. Chilala with some head movement, too. Oh, he got him. He got him. Boxer got Chilala. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, yeah, you got to watch out for uppercuts, man. But this is probably the best use of Wing Chun we've seen with boxing gloves, right? The... Excuse always is, but yeah, he got boxing gloves, man. All this secret deadly techniques will come out without boxing gloves. Well, if you really understand the mechanics, you can pull it off with anything. Like, you can pull off Wing Chun with a spear if you understood the mechanics. You can pull off Wing Chun on the ground. Silala's a pioneer, man. Anyone that, you know, doesn't see any Wing Chun, just get off this channel, please. We're past that now. Maybe three years ago, we could be like, yeah. We don't see too much Wing Chun, but come on, look at how much Chilala's improved, man. Look at that use of bridging right there. I like that. Like, he's almost like using what people who do chi a lot think they can do. Chilala's actually making it work. chi in Mandarin, chi Oh, look at that. That was some Wing Chun right there, too. Whoa. Okay, we're going to have to go back to that. I'm going to slow this down. So, watch his hands. Watch. Look at that. Look at that. He did eat an overhand, though. So, now they're going to do kickboxing rules. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Silala used his leg in the air to launch some strikes. Chilala's kicks a little bit Wing Chun-esque. Incorporating some of the head movement plus some of the... Okay, that was almost Capoeira right there. Plus the head trapping. Oh. So, this boxer lowers both his hands when he kicks, so... He might eat some punches to the face when he kicks next, if Chilala can figure him out. Chilala's trying to get the boxer to react by using his upper body and his hips, but boxer doesn't react to some of those feints. Chilala getting better at putting his hands up, man. You could say those are not boxing Guards, that's more Wing Chun frame, but I don't. Oh, look at that. A fake spinning back fist to another combo. That was pretty cool. A few attempts at a hook kick right there. A Ura Mawashi Gary. Makes me think maybe this boxer has some karate training. Oh, Chilala went on the inside. Look at that. Oh, on the exit, he got him with a punch. A sweep that you see in Muay Thai and Sanda. Boxer noticed. Oh, that was a great kick. 
Boxer Notice has quite a reach advantage over Tsilala. So, very unorthodox. That was great right there. Very unorthodox kind of levels by Tsilala. Now, I think his levels, you could say it's Wing Chun, but it might be from his senior Liu He Chun training. That was a hard roundhouse kick. Boxer's getting a little frustrated, man. That was a hard roundhouse kick. He definitely upped the sparring intensity a little. Look, Chilala's not afraid, man. Chilala's not afraid. This is going to turn into a fight if this... Oh, Chilala got him, dude. Oh, my goodness. Guys, tell me you see Wing Chun, man. Come on. Anyone that stayed so far definitely sees Wing Chun in this. Come on, this is not Muay Thai. This is not boxing. He's doing unorthodox angles, unorthodox footwork, unorthodox punches, unorthodox combos. This is Wing Chun and probably a little bit of Xin Yi Liu He. So he did not angle off there. That He kind of paid a little for that. Um, I might just leave it here. Oh, ooh, ooh, nice. Dude, Chilala is getting better with his short range punches. You see a lot of follow through, a lot of power behind those short range punches that you don't usually see Wing Chun people give. Wow. I might analyze more of this later. This is so cool. I think I'm just gonna leave it at here. You guys go follow him. Notice I got the bell button turned on. I'm gonna turn on for all. You see that? Do this with my channel too, guys. Turn it on here for all. Oh, they actually go to the ground. Okay, there's a lot more to come, guys. A lot more to come, but come on. This is so much Wing Chun. Like, I've seen more Wing Chun in him than like a hundred Wing Chun people stepping into the ring. This is why we love Chilala. This is why Chilala is so epic, man. So go follow him, please. Turn on the bell button for me and him, guys. All right, guys, fight commentary breakdowns out.